If you've been thinking about purchasing a home in the northeastern Wisconsin area, but the high interest rates have you concerned, today's guest is going to give us an option that you may not be aware of. I've got Nick Werzer from Nations Lending with us to talk about what's called a buy-down program. Nick, I'm excited to learn more about this. What Thanks, do we got Greg. for buy-downs? Yeah, so uh, right now it's a higher in rate interest um, market out there for buyers. Uh, makes them a lot more apprehensive to buying that home. Uh, with the higher interest rates. Uh, but we have a temporary interest rate buy down option. This is uh, great for buyers to get into a home with lower uh, market interest rates. So if the market interest rate is 7%, the first year of payments will be down at 5%. The second year, 6%. And then the third year and remaining years of the term would be at that 7%. This is a great way to lower that monthly payment for those buyers get them into a much more affordable payment that uh, they can get into for the first year, second year. And hopefully with the interest rate market uh, continuing to lower, they could always refinance it down to the lower uh, interest rate at that time. The, so what's, like, what's the best way to like structure the, structure this? So the, the one caveat to this is that this does need to be financed by seller credits. So when they go to buy a home, um, the seller does need to pay for this uh, option uh, via seller concessions or seller credit. Now, in a uh, market where there are less buyers because of this higher interest rate, this is also the opportunity with less buyers to most likely be able to get these within your offer from the seller. Yeah, we really try to focus on a list of properties that have been on the market for at least seven days because I really think there's some offer on, you know, like, some opportunities that exist to find a motivated seller who maybe was trying to price the property, uh, you know, just a little bit over the what it was truly worth. But this is an opportunity for a buyer to get some relief for a couple of years. Uh, one quick question: Is the rate fixed after those? You know, where it goes from seven down to six, and then five? What is what happens after that? The interest rate is always fixed um, at that initial market rate lock. So if it's seven percent it will be 7% for the remaining 30 years. The first two introductory rates on this 2-1 buy-down example um, drop for the first two years, but does not raise past 7% for the rest of the, uh, the term. Well, great. I think that if you're interested in some other alternatives, like Nick had mentioned, there's opportunities in this market for homes that have been on the market for more than seven days might be an opportunity to negotiate some seller credits to get you some interest rate relief for a couple of years. And I know that if the rates were to change, we're not saying that they will, but if they were part of that, I believe part of the cost of this program could be used to offset a refinance. Is that correct? Yeah. One of the best uh, features of this is that that seller credits, let's use $5,000 for an example. Let's say after the first year, $3,000 of that subsidy was used up. The remaining 2000 is still the buyers to do whatever they wish with. So if they refinance, you can put it towards closing costs. They could put it down on the principal balance of their home. They could use it to do another buy down. Um, one big difference between this temporary rate buy down and what a lot of people have been accustomed to hearing as a permanent rate buy down is that with a permanent rate buy down, you may be able to buy your rate down to 7% to say 6.5%, but the cost for that is out the window. Once you do that and you lower down that rate to six and a half percent, you're you're not getting that money back. If rates drop below six and a half percent, you refinance after a year. It's kind of some wasted money. So it's really important for us to look at what the the long term, short term, what the goals are of the buyer, and really fit them into the best uh, decision with with a buy down. And the key is, is having options and a great negotiator on the real estate side can sometimes open up some opportunities for you that you weren't even aware of. I know this is something we've talked about before. Um, I had somebody, you know, was all concerned. He, he thought it was an adjustable rate mortgage. And I was like, no, 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 this is not an adjustable rate mortgage. This is like a partial relief on the front end. And if the magical thing happened that everybody wants to happen, rates go down realistically that some of those those subsidy funds could be used to pay for that. So, right. um, if you're working, and a big important and a very important part to this too is um, if the sellers and you mentioned the houses sitting on the market for a good period of time, 
if if someone were to lower the the list price or a buyer wanted to offer te- say ten thousand dollars less than the list price anyway this is a great uh way to uh to really utilize the the buy down and the rate it's a much more benefit it's a higher benefit to the buyer um say ten thousand dollars to put towards a buy down than it is to lower the purchase price lowering the purchase price ten thousand dollars might only change their payment seventy dollars a month if they put it down to the lower interest rate, they may have savings in the first year of up to $300 a month. So options are key. Take a look at you know all these options with your trusted lender. And uh, it's a great option in a high interest rate market. Yeah, we've done a bunch of other episodes educating people on different parts of the mortgage process. You'll have those links below where you can watch other videos with Nick. Nick, we appreciate your time and explaining the buy down process. Take Thanks, care. Greg.